Hey guys, welcome back to the Masquerade. Vampire the Masquerade, that is. Bloodlines, the best of the two, in my opinion. Um, so we're back. Uh, trying to remember what we did last time. I believe we recovered the tape. We met, um, what's his name? He was hella sexy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think we're on our way to find to finally find the Nosferatu, so let's get back to it. Okay, so now um, I think we're getting ready to do the Warren's mission. I hate the Warren's mission, so I'm not going to do it. I do know a handy little cheat that will let us bypass the sh that shit because it is awful. <laughs> it is awful. It is way too long, and I always get turned around. And it's just not that exciting to watch. So, we're going to skip that shit. Um, let me see what's going on with my quests. Uh, get back to my character sheet. Let's see. Alright, you defeated the Zimsk. I, I can, Zimsk. I can never pronounce their name. And it's Lara at 609 King's Way. And he promised you a gift in return. You have brought the complete snuff film back to Isaac. Okay, so wait, do I need to talk to him again? Or am I good to go? I haven't done anything for Chinese. Have I completed all my... I should be set to go. Oh, yes. We should do this at some point. Um, because there's a nifty little side quest involving the serial killer. Um, okay, so let's... I think we've said everything we need to say to him, but let's just double check. Evening. About the gift, can I have it now? Oh no, I think he wants Certainly. it. Certainly. What? Oh, let's see what he has to say. Um... The Nosferatu? I pity them. But I loathe their presence. I deal with them when it's necessary. I know they're beneath my city somewhere, but only they know where. They respect my streets and I keep my politics out of their sewers. But I don't trust them by any stretch of the word. Yeah, nobody should trust anyone in this universe. Don't. <laughs> uh, Certainly. What can my idle hands make playthings of in your city? There is something, but it involves a gargoyle hmm, I can see that's got your attention tell me of the stoned one it's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater it is closed now but that's beside the point I sent some people to evict it and it sent them back with a few less limbs I can't have that monster attacking kindred in my city how does one smash a stone I will break this rock if you will provide a method it's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. Now there is a way you can use your charisma skills to get it to side with you, whichever faction you want to side with. Um, but I'll have to look up how to do this. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and kill ourselves a rock. <laughs> oh my god. Certainly. Um, what is your true Hollywood story, Isaac Abrams? In your lifetime, unwittingly or not, you have seen an Isaac Abrams production. As the financier of 30% of American films' top 100 movies, you must have. Being the Baron of Hollywood, I can do any project I want. What stars have revolved around you? Stewart, Lean, Hitchcock, Wilder, Holden, Dean, Scorsese, De Niro, and last but not least, Ash, my child. I remember some studio suit lost in time telling me the only thing they could use Bogart for was to move furniture. Hmm. What of this one created by fire? Ash, 
Where do I begin? Seven years ago, I saw a casting session for what would become Negative Zero. The moment I set eyes on him, the passion in his performance, I knew he had it. Yes, yes. I hadn't seen anything like him since Cliff or Dean. He had the looks, the charisma, the lure, that undefinable quality that makes a film legend. My first movie with him made him a sensation, and it also changed him. Changed. Once everyone knew who he was, I no longer did. The parties, the drinking, the sports cars, the women. One night when I came to discuss his next role, I found him nearly dead of an overdose, and I couldn't... I couldn't let him go. He was disfigured by your kiss. I acted on impulse. I had seen so many others die before their time, but with Ash, I had a chance to prevent that fate. <laughs> and did you? <laughs> it devastated Ash. He still wanted to act. But I denied him his place in the limelight. He had to lie to his friends about his new lifestyle. He had to feed. I gave him a club, a scrap of his former glory. I did everything I could to facilitate the change. Your kiss left a bitter taste in his veins. He feels obligated to me. I don't think he hates me. Resents me, maybe. I am his sire and he is my child. And there is a responsibility and respect inherent in that bond. Even if we are no longer the friends we were. Hmm. In what fire can I find Ash? He spends nearly all of his nights in his club, the asp hole. <laughs> I am, I admit it, too old-fashioned to appreciate it. To me, it's the compressed essence of everything that's wrong with the film industry today. One night I might find myself inside. I wonder something else. Certainly. I can know these things later. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, pay attention to these screens because I tell you some backdrop. And as far as I know, all that they're showing is indeed can canon with the old world of darkness. Um, Bloodlines comes from Vampire the Masquerade series of books. The newest series of books was Vampire the Requiem. I don't know if they've changed to another series. Um, I like them both. They're, they have different things going on for each one. Um, Masquerade is much more of a, um, basically all uh, the supernatural folk are preparing for the end of the world. Um, some sort of supernatural apocalypse is about to happen and um, everyone's like, there's all these strange things going on with the different factions and stuff and um, whispers that the um, father of the vampires is back. Cain, that the um, antediluvians are have awoken and they're hunting again. It's just stuff like that. Things like thin bloods are seen as signs of the um, upcoming apocalypse, Gehenna, whatever they want to call it. But um, it's all very, very interesting. Whereas Requiem deals more with um, the personal struggles and um, the clans aren't as cliquish. You can be from one, ty one type of uh, vampire strain and um, having your coterie um, someone from a different one. It's, it's very interesting and they're a lot more vague about the origins of what vampires are and they, they've been able to recon reconcile the different types of supernatural beings without having to you know, rely on a particular myth. So it's all it's all interesting okay so what I'm gonna do oh and I meant to mention so before when you saw the dancing werewolf if you had done the dancing werewolf and come out here you'd see him in the skyline like dancing but now I don't know if he only appears in Hollywood or if he appears in like downtown or anything like that like I said I showed you how to do that so if you ever want to find out for yourself feel free to I highly recommend you get this game and if you're worried about the bugs and stuff that come with it there's so many wonderful patches you can download. I'm playing West 5's um, patch 9.5. I'm sure it's well up to the 20s at this point, but this is an older patch because I didn't want to restart my game because every time you download a patch, you need to restart your game. And I, I don't want to do that. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and we're gonna bypass the Warrens. I think we're good to do that now. I can't remember. I really shouldn't have stopped last time. I should have kept going. Because now I can't quite remember what it is I needed to do. But I think we're good. Um, but um, something I like more about the Requiem is you don't have to deal with Anarchs versus Camarilla. It's, I, I hate that those are your, mainly your two choices. And I don't like either one. So... <laughs> I thought this cemetery was super creepy. I love that skyline. Let's take a look at it. Oh. Let's take a look at it. Look at that. Gorgeous! Look at how beautiful that is! The green tones. Is stunning. And here's the rest of Hollywood. Look at these buildings. It's, it's magnificent. It really is. This is the cemetery. There's um, <laughs> Romero's place. <laughs> Maybe he wants a second round. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, so now if you had done Romero's quest... You'd have to guard that entrance from all the zombies that would be running around. And it's a pain in the ass to do. Even if you have cheats, it's a pain in the ass. Because they are not um, susceptible to cheats by any stretch of the... Imagine, I've tried using cheats on them. It does not work. So, they will always see you. You could go into ghost mode or whatever. They'll always see you. They'll bite you. They'll hurt you. It's, it's not... This music is so eerie. Oh, it's just so creepy. So, let's see. We're going to go to... Where is it? Here. These tombstones are way too close together for that to be a uh, acceptable burying spot. There's just not enough room for a corpse. But I do like the aesthetic. It's it's really beautiful. Let's go in here. Okay, so I have to find here. Okay, so there's a little trick you can do. What we're gonna do, crouch. and you know you're in the right one because that's where the trail of bones has come from. So we're going to no click again, no clip, not no clip. Here we go. Okay, so instead of having to, and the game's kind of messing up because I'm not supposed to be doing this. So instead of dealing with um, the Warrens, we can just bypass all that shit. Just pick the, the grave that they're coming from, see, and go down. So now we're going to no clip back. Here we go. It's a lovely trick. I love it so much. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I hate the Warrens. They're terrible. So here's a little bit about the Zemisk, or however you pronounce their name. So yeah, um, sexy man. Wait, which way am I going? This way? Oh no, it's going up. It's, it's going to go down. Yeah, so sexy man. <laughs> I love the music. Such great music. By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Voice, I don't see you. Come on, voice, I won't bite. 
<laughs> I think this one's funny. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. You don't sound anything like the voice in my head. Maybe I killed the voice in your head, boss. <laughs> no, I was just getting used to that voice. You amused me, new voice. Old voice didn't make much sense. Tell me the voice in your head. Why are you down here? You can trust me, boss. If you are in my head, then you already know. You tell me. <laughs> Think carefully. Who are you here for? And why? <laughs> you are him. Good joke. Come out. Let's play. My mom known me never to talk to figments of my imagination. You lost, boss. As always. <laughs> I'll show you the cards I've been dealt. But you put yours on the table first. Got a nines, a jack, and a prince, and you are about to deal me a queen. You may be onto something, boss. Or maybe you're still talking to yourself. Insanity isn't given enough credit. The insane know not what they do. Do you? <laughs> Where are you? I grow bored of this game. When I get bored, I fashion laughs out of others. <laughs> I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? <laughs> you want something? <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. <laughs> I am here for that old box. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the prince. Tell me the tale of the box. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. See, so I have a copy of the receipts. <laughs> I like to discuss business face to face. Then face me. <laughs> Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. <laughs> yes, nightmares are all I've got. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> <laughs> I want it! <laughs> Behind you, boss. Oh! Oh, please. You're not. <laughs> Hi, and you are... What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. A little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just... Gary. Charmed. The box. <laughs> where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Some guy in the tower asked me to find it. I don't know. Oh, is he still calling the shots upstairs? How long do you think that will last? Heard he was furious. Wish I could have been there. Well, I'll be a sport. I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? Maybe. Those are the things that come out of the holes that you hit with a hammer? <laughs> I guess the Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Yes. 
Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. Yeah, cell phones in the city. <laughs> you want me on the case, because I don't play by the rules. Why are the words never what I want to hear? <laughs> Gee, that's original. You think that up all by yourself? You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, I'll give you what you need. What must I subject myself to for more than what I need? You own your voice there. I will not be your voice. <laughs> the Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the LA Kuei Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Is our blood not feuding? How do I enter the minefield without getting blown up? I guess... Not that I know of. It's like the eye of a hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Let's see what I got. Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods. But not if you're smart. Mmm... Why doesn't your voice sound it? Forget it, boss. It's Chinatown. Mm. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then... <laughs> I am done before it began. Become one with the dark again, voice. Miss me, boss? No, not really. Hmm. Nice. Okay, so as you can see, he's having a little dinner party with all the little... All, all these famous dug-up corpses. Jason Anderson, Tim Kaine, and Seymour's masterpiece, Gravity. Yeah, I think these were added. Scary Monster Show. I think that's supposed to be like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. The same thing. Um, yeah, so if you go down here, you'll come up to... Um, the Nosferatu um, area, but I I really don't. I mean, I could give you a tour of the Nosferatu place, but I I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like visiting them right now. It's it's just a, a it's a neat little cavern. You've got a bunch of strung up lights and different doors and stuff, and you meet a bunch of different Nosferatus, and they give you like tasks and stuff you can do. It's actually not a bad looking place. Um, but I want to move on, so let's do that, and then we'll we'll come back and visit, because I want to do all the little side quests and stuff. So there's um this one tech Nosferatu you can do a couple missions for, so I want to do that. Um, let's though, let's see, what do I want? I'm kind of all over the place today. Oh, I fell down. Oops-a-doodle. <laughs> so, we're going to go 
out this way. And remember, like when you want to come here, just follow the bones. The bones are out because, you know, obviously people have been going back and forth. And there's a light right there. So you know that you're in the right place. So. There we go. So now we've got a bunch of stuff we could do. Um, let's see. Uh, we can go to Chinatown, but we still got a lot of stuff to do here. So I kind of want to wait to go to Chinatown. Um, we've got some stuff we could do. Find the book from the Giovanni Mansion. That'll come later. There's more than one plague bear in the city and they all need to be destroyed. Okay, so that's going to involve zombies, so I'm going to wait to do that one, because I hate, I hate zombies. Okay. Okay, so that's the serial killer mission. Okay, I guess I could go, let's go downtown, and we'll meet, um, uh, Maximilian Strauss. Maximilian, Maximilian, I don't know. We'll meet him. And he's the Tremere Regent, and then we'll um, do the serial killer quest, and we'll call it a day for that. So let's do that. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna go downtown. Oh, let's see if we can sell anything to what's his face. Deb's back, and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. In case you didn't know it, you're tuned so, into the Dead uh, of Night on KTRK. Uh, welcome to I'm your spot. lovely hostess. Feel free to fantasize about me all you want. Your favorite beverage for 89 but cents. please blah, blah. don't send any more You need help or something? The lines are all full, so why don't I provide some rooms? What is the city hiding? Um, humility? Stop, Deb! Seriously. And what have you, you been up to tonight, caller? Will you come, come down? Because, like, you're wigging. I'll get it up. I'm up, Deb! Has the killer What's that the walks occasion? through the streets bloodied it's his hands again? Uh, Touche. This isn't going to turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not like a serial yes, killer, General. are you? Oh, man. It's the city of stars I on I fire. Oh, well, all night. You should come out and see you my band. All those problems we've been we'll play having tomorrow night in the auditorium. Yes. No cover. There's yeah. damn Virginians. Okay, okay. So, like, I figured this out. Right. Okay, okay. Are so there other situations I must place myself in? Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. Okay, they don't let me in anymore. Damn, uh, what brings people together? Pizza. So, like, they got uh, me. We're, like, <laughs> half the cost of one of those, um, blockbuster bombs. I don't enter the rock channel. Uh, hey, you know, you should like really ask me that special, there. you know? And then, like, Special, what is so special? Man. Just say no, dude. I have no need of jerkies and gin of the living. Moving on. No, Line no, four. No, Let's no, keep moving. Really yeah. ask me about the special. I'm about to oh, man. I put my life on the line, but the people. Chester forces beyond your comprehension. You have a right to know this. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, What's the word, Gomez? Seriously, there are a lot of organizations that would do anything in their power to keep this a secret. I don't doubt. Yeah, yeah, this is really serious now. Can I finish? All right. Everyone knows got this guy not being caught? <laughs> Here are my eyes. Show them your courtesy. Jerky, snack cakes, vodka, and bullets. One of these things is not like the other. Oh, my anaconda don't want none unless you got bones on. It all makes sense now. Everything. Thank you, Gomez. I hate to interrupt this mentally stimulating conversation. But the people who keep me chained to the console at this radio station, in my underwear, no less, want you to spend money on this stuff. Last year, Democratic candidate Michael Redmond spots sports utility vehicle. Three months later, there are two separate incidences of hit and runs by an unidentified SUV in his area. Is Democratic candidate Michael Redmond to blame? Can you afford to take that chance? Can your children? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate that has never committed vehicular homicide. Democratic candidate Michael Redmond has never publicly stated his opinion on child pornography. Is it because he's hiding something? Would you want a child pornographer voting on this nation's laws? Could you trust your children's future to someone like that? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, the candidate... Oh my gosh, these commercials crack me up. Democratic candidate Michael Rebens recently sued Senator Robert Thorne for accusing Rebens of being a murderous child pornographer. But Rebens had previously said he was against clogging up courts with frivolous lawsuits. Wouldn't this make him a hypocrite? Would you want a hypocrite as your next congressman? 
Would you want your children to become hypocrites? Vote Republican Senator. Oh Donald my Trump gosh, these commercials are hilarious. Preparing for a business sales pitch, but don't know how to sell your ideas? Try virtual meeting. So divert advertising away from expensive television I can't and go through there. Ads in the leading men's magazines. We'll probably do it later. That's an idea, but here is what I think we should do. But I didn't finish. Yes. I don't remember ever going in there, though, so I don't know if that comes into play later. Maybe that's an extra mission, because I've never been in there. Okay, so let's run in here. Oh, I gotta get to the other side. Like, traffic. <laughs> traffic in Hollywood is non-existent, apparently. <laughs> Need a ride? Yes. Like father and child, I will ride while you drive. Go to downtown. Book of Nod. I remember that mentioned, I think, in the masquerade books. We go in here later. We go in there later. We can go in there now, which we will. La Opera. That looks so cool. Let's take a look at it. I love downtown. I love this whole game. It's amazing. Ah, don't do that. Bring it down. Bring it down. Ah, uh, this is about as close as it'll let me get. Oh, there's another cell. What is that? Looks like... Looks like part of downtown. What are these? Oh, these are the sewers. Anything else? I hate the sewers. That's the skyline. Alright, let's go back. So that's as close as I'm going to be able to get. That looks amazing. I would totally watch that. Don't anyone mind me? I'm just flying through the air. What's happening? What's going on? Let's go talk to Arthur. First, I got to talk to the region. up well I guess we'll visit the region some other time since I've already Hop I'm already in. here all right we're gonna go back to Santa Monica sorry if I seem a little low energy I'm really really tired I've just had so much shit to do all right so we're gonna go talk to Arthur. Tell him what's up. I hate this asshole. Fuck you. Can I punch him? Oh fuck! I didn't mean to kill him! Ah, uh, anyone see that? Nobody saw that? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. How did I? Holy fuck. Oh, my hand humanity's not gone down. No masquerade violence. Okay, we're good. Okay, wow. Um. <laughs> wow, was not <laughs> meaning to do that. Celebrity Ash Rivers walks away from a deadly crash. I wonder if they, it'd be nice if when they patch, do a new patch, they change that to go with the story. Hey, dude, did you see that homeless guy get killed outside? I mean, that evangelist get killed outside? Holy smokes. Gosh. <laughs> hey there, hot stuff. 
I have some dirt on Muddy. So what'd you find out about Muddy? The dirty one has deserted the lady. All right, then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. Thank me in the picture of presidents. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. I am no longer here. See you around, then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. Your neck is as red as the luscious liquid. Farewell. Now, wait a sec. I should be given the option to... Hold on. Try to find money. You have answers said he headed to the residence. Even though Arthur's cut you loose. Maybe we can get some money for finding him. Alright, so I think... Hold on. <laughs> I'm doing things a little discombobulated because I, I'm running around. Um, okay, so what I'll do now, let me go back downtown. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Not really. That guy was fucking annoying. Going some way. Yeah, buddy. You're the sea that takes Slimmon to its destination. Hurry! Oh. oh, yeah. We get to encounter a werewolf later. That's another uh, creature that your cheats ain't gonna do shit against. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is go... Shit, where am I going? This way. These things are so freaky. I think... I mean, you notice how they, they look different from the rest of the asset? I don't know if they move. I think... Near the end of the game, they come alive, but I, I could be totally wrong. If not... I mean, it's been forever since I've played, and granted, the... Um, <laughs> but um, if they don't do anything, then they need to like make these come alive because they look like they are movable. If you'll notice how they're not quite, the asset is a little bit more textured than, than this part right here. Do you notice the difference? Like it looks like something that is separate. It would be a missed opportunity. Let's just put it that way. And yeah, this is where um, you saw that uh, opening cut scene earlier where they had your trial. And you can go in here later for a mission for one of the Nosferatu. I just, oh gosh, I just love this game. It's just so beautiful. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful game. I could sing praises to it all day. Stop staring at me, you creep. This elevator is shady as fuck. Even the nice areas in this game look like... Holy shit, which button did I press? Oh my god, the elevator's glitched. Okay, so now we know where he's going, which said you're since across the street from a bar. Okay, so we know where that's going to be.
Ow. Just doing some laundry, dude. I guess he doesn't follow you around. I, I remember one time I went into somebody's apartment and the guy um, followed me into the apartment. Okay, so across the street from the bar. Well, there's only one bar. So that'll be this way. Alright, did he say across the street? Here! He said here. Wow, these people look sick as fuck. The dangling headless horror. <laughs> Gun tore him up, right in two, ripped him apart like a rag doll. Open to me the movie in your mind. Was it the shadow cloaked killer? These two guys, that guy, another, and well, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who was the homeboy of the headless one? Continue this terrible tale. Oh, uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late. So the one guy leaves, you find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. But that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. Did you hear the name of the Ichabod's buddy? One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I'd like to scream, but I couldn't breathe. What do the shadows then reveal? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. Then the dead guy went white like he'd seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What words from this dark devil? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. But just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. <laughs> This story will place you in a padded cell. Silence if you love your freedom. Tell this tale again, and I will harvest your head. Now leave. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, so, as you can see, he didn't quite make it, did he? But now, let me show you this little trick. Now, let me see. Okay, so if you do this okay so you got this basketball hoop so if you take his head let's see if i can get it oh hold on how do you throw how do you throw something oh fuck don't do that okay so fuck, i didn't quite do that right let me try it again all right here i'm gonna cheat Let me show you. So we're going to do no clip. We're going to go up. This is about to. Pretty cool, right? So every, every time you dunk, dunk the head in, you get an applause. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, we're done with him. Alright, let's go back up here. Oh, I didn't actually climb up here, couldn't I? Alright, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Hold on, huh? Get me up here. Okay. Alright. Okay, 
so I got Lucky Star room key, a car stereo, which is, I'm guessing, what they were going to sell. And then, let's see, there is something. You could climb up here. What is it? There we go. So you don't have to, like, jump down. You can just walk down. Which doesn't really make sense because it's not that far of a fucking jump. But anyway. So that's all there is here. Pretty cool. Just a gruesome abandoned warehouse with a lot of blood. It's terrible. So what? <laughs> Alright. I guess I should have, I totally missed out on using some puns, you know, like, <laughs> don't lose your head. <laughs> or that's one way to get ahead. <laughs> Let's go see what's his face. This is a really cool hangout. So one of my favorite clans, yeah, there's the plague bearer house, but we'll go there later. Um, one of my favorite clans is the Tremere because they're the mysterious ones. Um, the Maquette replaces them in Requiem, and they're basically the same thing, pretty much. But so here's: um, if you play as a Tremere, you get uh, your very own um, special uh, haven here, and it's a nice, it's a nice one. But like um, when you are a Tremere, you'll get like this will be your mailbox, and then you'll get in here, which you can't open. I don't know if you can no clip through it. Maybe you can. Let's see. Can we no clip? Yes, you can. Okay, so let me show you the Tremere's hangout. So this is your bathroom. All right. Wow, that is a huge. Fuck. That's like a group shower. <laughs> a toilet that's way too big. Look at all this waste of room. But it's nice, right? And then, whoop! Hold on, let me let me unno clip. Okay, so um, this will be your. You've got a television that you can turn on. Can I turn it on? I can, but you can't hear because you're not supposed to be in here. Uh, you got a bar. Oh yes, I'll take all this. Thank you. Isn't that nice? Oh, didn't mean to hit it twice. Um, and this is your computer. Oh, I can actually... Let me check my... Okay, I recently read Mr. Flayton's scathing review of the Ca Cavaletti Cafe in the Sun, and I must tell you... That I am extremely happy with his conclusions. You have done well. Please accept the payment I have left for you in your mailbox. We will no doubt be seeing each other soon, Sebastian LaCroix. Okay. So everything works in here. But this would be your... Ooh, that'll be mine. So, as you can see, um, this would be your haven. It's really nice. I would totally live here. This is really nice. But you only get it if you're a Tremere. And you make um, Strauss happy. You have to do a few tasks for him to make him happy. And then he'll give you goodies. If you don't make him happy, you will not be able to get back in this place. Like, he will lock you off from entering. Okay, so now here's a neat trick. So this this hallway is um, magical. So, um, like, it'll loop you around and stuff. But um, there used to be a trick. So you never get lost. Or never wind up doing a bunch of needless stuff. So I think it's just 
take, see, look, that was magical. Yeah, just take right turns. So here's, here he is. And I don't really need the no target. Why do I have the no target? I don't need that. Um, yeah, so I actually like Strauss. I've actually played where he wound up becoming um, Prince Greetings, Neomate. of the Camarilla. I assume you received my invitation. I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Blood magics and betrayal, and the true king upon his throne. Ah, a child of Malka, no less. Do dark visions cloud your sight, young one? Shattered reflections of your clan father's mind. Glass is cracked, but strangely clear. There is truth in your words, Neonate, more than you yet realize. Your madness allows you to glimpse the truth of this existence, to see through the shadowy veil into the world beyond. On your head, an iron crown, and the jester dances before you. Hmm. Be cautious when speaking of these visions. Truth is rarely welcomed by those who cannot see it. There are many kindred who will be less, shall we say, accepting of it than I am. Tell me your name, Wizard King. Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this Chantry. Welcome. Chantry holds a mystery for me. A Chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Regent is opaque and shadowy. A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Reveal these mysteries, Wizard King! <laughs> I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. <laughs> Tell me the dark city of angels. Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Memory is rarely a gift for the schizophrenic. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips kindred or kind seems to be epidemic. Ah, a withered horse runs among us. It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Dirty blood is our doom. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local Anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. These Anarchs have me searching for this problematic pestilence. I see. Most disappointing, Neonate. You seem to show a startling lack of concern when choosing your associates in this new life. I pray that their lawless proclivities do not ultimately affect your own standing among your other peers. <laughs> May I mine your grey matter? What is it you would like to know? And clouds this Camarilla. The Camarilla? It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. Mm. I already did this thing. Of course. Mm. Oh, there's lots of things. Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. And what of my... should do this deed. Very well. May I mind your grey mouth? What is it you would like to know? More. What know you of the Archon Sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. 
His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What secrets lie beneath its lid? I do not know, although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. A dark shadow, a curious hair, and a pillar ablaze in the night sky. You seem to know more than I about these matters. I pray that your visions don't portend the end of us all. May I mind your grey matter? What is it you would like to know? Hmm. I seek knowledge of gargoyles, the stone-skinned blood golems. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? One haunts a theater in Hollywood. Tell me more. What can I tell you about them? Your eyes hide a blood secret, Wizard King. Tell me of this blood gob. <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. You fathered this fiend? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant, and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector, and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. I see. Well, Isaac Abrams has asked me to get rid of the gargoyle. Isaac Abrams? His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? Sure. I will keep this sorcerer's secret. I appreciate your discretion in this matter, Neonate. I'd like to free the gargoyle. I think there's a way you can do that. I would like to free the gargoyle. I'm not gonna, like, tell on Strauss, because I really don't... If he's not really causing problems, I don't see the point. Didn't seem like Strauss made him to cause any problems, just for protection. But I would like to free the gargoyle, if at all possible, just because... I don't see why he couldn't exist when the others, other creatures exist. Why it couldn't exist. So let him have his freedom if at all possible, but. Here, take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. I have to appreciate, but how do I destroy the demon? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hives are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blood force is the only thing they understand. Tell me more of these blood gulps. What can I tell you about them? Um, I guess this... A gargoyle, put simply is a creature that was created to protect the Tremere clan in the early years of our existence. They are very powerful, and not to be trifled with. Do these demons still serve their magical masters? Well, many gargoyles still serve their Tremere masters, but a number of them have since rebelled and gone into hiding. They are a sentient race, but ultimately unfit for the freedom they desire. They need the guidance of their former masters. Mm, yeah, I don't really agree with that. What can I tell you about them? Uh, no things more. Goodbye. I think we've done enough talking. He's given us an alternative for the plague quest and the gargoyles. We can choose to do them or not. I think there's a way to free the gargoyle, but I cannot remember what it is. So I'll have to look that up. Okay, so let's see. I need to go back to Hollywood to the Lucky Star Hotel. Our motel. And then I guess I'll end the gameplay there because we've played quite a bit, I think. Wait, wait, wait. Where, where, where am I going? These things just definitely creep me out.
I think we go in this building at some point, or at least there's a mod that'll let you go into this building at some point. Where to? Hmm. Okay, so we need to go to... Yes, I'll take that. Thank you. All right, now which room was it? That's the werewolf room, right? So let's see. Hmm. Where does the key go to? Don't see the key. Oh, we'll just try every door. They are all unlocked. Not here. This one has a key. Okay, yeah, this was the one for that other mission. Let's try this one. Oh, not let me in there. Oh yeah, I think that's where what's his face winds up hiding near the end of the game. Oops, spoilers. Okay. Oh my god. My work is done. Yeah, so that was the guy from the diner. Remember earlier, like <laughs> brother salvage. All right, so we're at the last part of the serial killer mission. And he went out. Oh my gosh, there's the dancing werewolf. Why is he still there? I thought I got rid of that one. Fuck! Did I not turn it off? No, I didn't. Shit, I'm gonna get the werewolf ending. Fuck! Fuck. Alright. How did I activate that? Because I opened that door. I have no idea. Hold on, let me... Okay guys, the game kind of crashed on me. <laughs> but that was okay because I was going to end it there anyway. Um, okay. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay video. Uh, don't forget that there is a, a sequel coming, hopefully soon. Um, I'm hearing really good things about it, so I can't wait. I'm sorry this video is kind of like all over the place, but um, I was very, very tired when I recorded. And um, next time I'll try to be a little bit more focused. We'll just do one big mission and keep going. Um, but um, if you liked what you saw, hit the like button, um, subscribe, feel free to um, subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and I will play more of this. I've got, um, I'm going to try to, I'm trying to play Puppet Combos The Glass Staircase, but I'm having trouble um, getting it to, like I've got it downloaded, but it, for some reason it just doesn't want to play for me, so I might have to re-download it. I also want to play some of his, um, that un 
the little unfinished world thing. He did kind of explore it some. I might go back to Blood Maniac. I definitely need to go back to Night Ripper. I would like to progress even further. Um, so Zo will have some puppet combo stuff coming out. Uh, Pulse Tense Games is having a new game on the horizon. I want to play that. I think the demos will be ready soon. Um, not to mention I have all these indie horror games just begging to be played. Um, if I can get S Exiles to work, I'll play that. Um, but yeah, if there's something you want me to play in particular, let me know and I'll think about it. Um, this channel is mostly for me though, so no promises. But I do want to keep people entertained, so um, if there's something you want to see, let me know and I'll, I'll try to make a point to play it. And I'm sorry I'm only doing one game a week because that's just all that I have time for. But hopefully after I take the registry and pass it... <laughs> I'll have plenty more time for um, for um, gameplays, and don't forget to check out my sister, the Scarlet Gamer, on Twitch. She is awesome. You need to check her out. Um, over a thousand subscribers, woohoo! So yeah, definitely check her out. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Oh, look at it does this. I'm gonna write my name. I'm gonna write my name, I'm gonna write my name. Okay, that's that. <laughs>